Bypassing the password in Windows XP is easy. Simply start up by tapping F8 during the boot process and select Safe Mode. Then choose your operating system, wait for it to load, and very quickly you'll be able to log in by selecting the administrator account, which by default has no password. Once you're in, click yes on the dialog that appears. Then open up a command prompt and type in net space user space the username and then the password. If you need to reset a password on Windows Vista or 7 or for XP if the administrator account already has a password, You'll need to start by getting into the BIOS. You need to be able to boot from a CD. So once you're in the BIOS, which you can usually get to by tapping F2 at startup, select the boot tab. You move around in the BIOS using your arrow keys. So use your right arrow key to select boot, and then your down arrow key to select the CD-ROM drive. Use the plus and minus sign to move it up or down the list and when you're through press F10 or go to the exit tab and choose to exit saving changes then click yes or enter now what I'm using here is the Norton bootable recovery tool to use this you do need a valid Norton account with, or a valid Norton program rather so you can use something else. You don't have to use the bootable recovery tool. You can use your original operating system disk, your recovery partition, um, BART PE, or a version of Linux that lets you boot from the CD. Anything that lets you get to a command prompt and modify files in your hard drive. You can even take the hard drive out, plug it into another computer, and modify the files there. So what you want to do is get to a command prompt. And then <clears throat> you're going to want to change to C colon backslash. So you do that just by typing C colon. Then you're going to change directory to Windows System 32. And first thing we're going to do is check to make sure SethC.exe exists there. And you can see here that it does exist in the directory that we're in, which is uh, C colon backslash Windows slash System 32. So first thing we want to do is make a copy of it so that we have a backup because we're going to delete it here in a moment. So we're going to copy setc.exe to setc underscore backup.exe. Sorry, the video cut off a little bit there. Um, then we're going to delete setc.exe. Finally, we're going to copy cmd.exe to setc.exe. So now what we have is setc.exe still in its original location with its original file name only now the actual file is cmd.exe so now we just need to restart the system and we'll go to the next step Now, as we start up here, what you're going to see is that we have a user account called user, and it has a password on it, but I don't know what it is. So I try a few random passwords, and of course it doesn't work. But I'm thinking, what must work on the login screen? What, what absolutely has to work and has to run with administrator privileges? Well, that would be the ease of access programs. Things like sticky keys. Sticky Keys is controlled by sethc.exe. That's why we just replaced that. So by replacing that with cmd.exe, now when I turn on Sticky Keys by tapping Shift five times, I actually have an administrator level command prompt. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And you'll see that the command prompt comes up instead of Sticky Keys turning on, which is exactly what we want. So now I just change to the root directory and do net user. And you can see 
the user account called user is listed here. So we're just going to do net user, the username, and we get some information about the, the user account. So we do net user, username, and then the password with no quotations. In this case, we're just changing the user account user's password to the word password. The command completed successfully, so we'll go ahead and exit the command prompt and try logging in. And it looks like we've got success. So that's how you can get access to your Windows Vista 7 or XP account without actually having the password. Good luck and thanks for watching. Oh, and if you like this video, feel free to check out the website, timstechtips.com. Feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel or the RSS feed for the blog. And keep in mind, we do provide free technical support to anyone who needs it. We're based on a sort of pay-what-you-like-or-nothing-at-all pricing model, so if you don't have the money, don't worry about it. If you don't think the support was worth, uh, was worth anything, then don't worry about it. So again, thanks for watching, and good luck.